Alright. Hey guys, this is uh, part two where I go through my records for 2023. It's officially the 1st of January 2024, so happy new year. Um, dive into it. Alright, so yes, this is 7 inches. Did the LPs last time. Starting off with Play, Just Say No. This is the repress from 1990. Original came out in 1987, I think. But uh, it was a 7 inch record in a 10 inch sleeve, and uh, a lot of them got fucked up. So hard to get, but I'll replace it with an original one day. Uh, next up is To the Point, Give Me a Reason. Um, I actually have the Give Me a Reason, like the joke sleeve they did with it. I bought this off of the, I think the guitar player on Discogs, and he sent me the sleeve as well. Next up is self-titled 7-inch by Heist. They're uh, an Australian power balance group from the 90s. So I picked that up. It's pretty cheap on Discogs as well. Like sub-10 New Zealand dollars sort of thing. So grab it if you get a chance. Government Warning, Arrested 7-inch. Um, I'm not sure what pressing this is. It's not the first pressing though. Um, Arrested is their best song though, so it's cool to get the 7-inch uh, with it on. Uh, CR, or Compassionate Revolution, uh, just a good hardcore band from the 90s, bit, bit power balancey, but just, just a hardcore band. You can grab that also very cheap on Discogs still. Uh, Youth Corps, 82. This originally came out as a cassette tape uh, in 1982, and it didn't get released until much later, maybe even the 90s or late 80s, on a... Uh, Crucial Response Records, and I think if it had come out um, as a 7-inch, then it would have been a classic. Like, it sounded like the Deep Wound 7-inch before, a year before the Deep Wound 7-inch even came out. So, uh, really cool. Sort of like proto, power violence, basketball stuff. It's a very good record. Well, look, this youth, this has came out in um, 1990. Looks like an 80s hardcore record. It was probably recorded in um, the late 80s, but this is number 298 out of 300 of just uh, the standard black. Got a weird like classical thing going on in the background of this too, but still hardcore band. Uh, it's quite cool, pretty cool, check them out, especially this one. All of Destruction by Madball. This is um, their first record when the vocalist was 12 years old. Uh, this is the only good one, in my opinion, it's like the most Lo-fi and not as like bro hardcore. Um, annoyingly, this has the hype sticker stuck to the front of the cover, which you can't take off. But nice record, but uh, definitely the only good one in my opinion. Next up, committed to the core, Total Fury. I picked this up for like a dollar on Discogs. I paid way more for shipping than the actual record. Uh, this is Youth Attack number sixteen. Um, they do a test pressing on ten inch, and it had uh, SSD control, um, sort of. Homage cover, which would be really cool to pick up one day, but very good record, very good hardcore. Next up, no comment, downsided. Uh, I originally picked this up on Discogs, and the seller sent me the uh, six weeks version, or the deep six version, sorry. And uh, I'd ordered the slap of hand version, but uh, luckily he refunded me the difference, and I could find another one pretty cheap. It's just a black vinyl repress on slap of hand. But I like to get the uh, Slapper Ham stuff actually on the label it came out of. One of the best uh, power balance 7 inches in the 90s. Um, look back at last, Street Tourism. Uh, I just picked this up because it was cheap because the other stuff I was getting. Got a nice uh, screen printed sleeve. Very cool. Go, your power means nothing. I picked up quite a few of the Go records last year and uh, obviously grabbed this one this year. It's just good, fast, hardcore. They do a lot and they're super cheap to grab still. Citizens Arrest, A Light in the Darkness. This is the repress without the cool screen printed uh, eyes in the middle. But yeah, this is one of the best uh, hardcore 7 inches I reckon of the 90s. Really good one. So yeah, it's the repress on War Dance without the cool screen print in the middle unfortunately. But very good. Another to the point record, Success and Failure. This one has a cool gatefold. I don't know what you call that cover, trifold sort of cover. Folds up and out. Very good. Um, Chris Dodge from Spaz plays into the point. So it's 
No, it's good. All right, a big one. Infest, the first seven inch. This is just on black vinyl. Quite expensive now to get. Such a classic cover. I love that layout. Um, it was pretty expensive, but cheaper than it could have been because my copy did not have the inserts and the stickers and stuff. So I got this for probably around 200 New Zealand dollars, maybe just a bit more. But it's a classic, it's so good. Next up, the Spares Brutal Truth Split. This is the slightly pink paper cover, and it is on really nice pink vinyl as well. It's a really good split. I got it for the spare side, but the Brutal Truth side is pretty good as well. Another big one, this is a um, fourth press Youth of the Day Can't Close My Eyes on Positive Force. It's a very cool record. I got this for $100. Here's the inserts. Super tidy. It's a great record. Another big one, uh, SOA, No Policy. This is a third press. I got this for maybe $220, US, which is kind of a bargain. No inserts, though, but I love getting the original Discord stuff. You know, super, super cool, and you never really see it in New Zealand, so it's great to be able to bring this into the country and check it out. Very stoked to get this record, great record. Next up, Media Disease. This is like a 2 7 inch, like a gatefold. Just came out on Lost and Found Records. I think it was originally recorded in the like early 80s, like maybe a DC band, but it just never got put out until later. But it's very cool, you can still grab it super cheap as well. <coughs> uh, Seven Inch by Romantic Gorilla. After I got that spare split for that LP that I showed you the other day, I picked this up. This is just the, uh, the first Seven Inch, and this is super sick as well. Really good, screamy, like hardcore power, not power violence, but hardcore stuff from Japan. Alright. Winter the Wicks Chaos Front. I bought this off the Scogs. It's super good hardcore from about 86 from the Netherlands. Um, they all come with like a plastic, black plastic bag that had screen printed um, band name on it. But they pretty much all flaked off, all the stuff flaked off. So I threw the bag out, which is not very um, archivist collector of me. But I don't know, it looks better. And it didn't fit inside a sleeve with the other sleeve. So better just throw it out, I reckon. Next up, we have second alarm 7 inch. This is the second press. The seller told me it was a first press, but didn't come with the stuff that the first press has. It's definitely a second. But it's super sick. This is my favorite alarm record. Um, better than the first 7 inch, I think. Refine the sound a bit, but super good. Neanderthal, fighting music. Another slap of ham record. Pretty tidy. The sleeve's a bit rough, but not too bad. The record's good. This is the second press. I probably paid too much for the soft disc dogs, but it's a super good record to have. Um, yeah, not cheap anymore, but very good. No Fraud EP. It's from 86 as well, I believe. Um, I've seen a few copies of this floating around on Facebook groups in New Zealand, like punk groups, record groups. Um, if you grab it, get it, because it's pretty rare, and it's actually really good for like mid-80s stuff. So um, if you see it, grab it. Very good. Next up, we have, I think maybe the 2010 press of the Negative Approach uh, 7 inch. This has the ugly, like, airbrush looking cover. See there? Which I don't like. I've got all the, like, modern repressings where they changed it back to looking more like the photocopied originals. Um, I'd love a second press. So if anyone has a second press with the red labels, I'd love to get a copy of it from the 80s. But at the moment, I've just got the modern sort of ones. But I grabbed this one on eBay. Super good. It has uh, been signed by John Brennan. I don't know if you can read that, but yeah, a little arrow pointing to him in the, in the back. So that was super sick to pick up and put in the collection, even if the cover's ugly. Alright, next up we have Beton Hysteria. It's uh, from 82 in Norway, Oslo. One of the first bands, or well, first hardcore bands from there. This is an original press. Super good. I got this from a guy in Auckland. One of them who uh, I picked up quite a lot of stuff from. 
He is a super crazy butcher. Crazy of the mind. So I was lucky enough to grab this one. Um, also from someone in Auckland, someone different, I picked up a couple of cheap 80s and 90s records. Uh, this is one of them. Public Humiliation, Goonie Turns. This is uh, just was a cheap 80s pickup, but it's actually quite a good record. And from the same guy, I got the Charred Remains, Manus the Bastard, Beckford Species, 7 inch. I'm not a huge Manus the Bastard fan, but um, had to pick it up. It was like 10 New Zealand dollars shipped inside New Zealand, so super good to pick up. Check them out. You might like them. They're a bit too noisy for me, not just straight ahead like hardcore car violence. So. Alright, next up, Skin Deep, Football Violence. This is super rare. It's an original press. Um, I got this as part of a trade. For a New Zealand band's LP, which was quite difficult to track down. A friend tracked it down for me from another friend, so I could get it to this guy who absolutely loved it and wanted it. And he part traded me like, this, and I put some more cash towards this, obviously. It's probably like a $2,000 record. Um, original press, skinhead, like Oi Music from Scotland, from 85. Very rare record. Very cool to own. I love the art. Such good art on this one. Next up, Sons of Ishmael, Hayseed Hardcore. This is the second press with the Scarecrow cover. This is a uh, really fast, really good 80s hardcore. Mid 80s, maybe, I think, 85. They all had different uh, colored paper covers, too. I got the yellow version. Uh, next up, uh, this is the second Brain Tourniquet 7 inch. This is the second pressing of it on white vinyl. Um, very good band. Iron Lung Records puts out sick stuff. These guys are super good. I got their LP this year as well. As well as the Turning Point 2 inch. This is the Reissue and Revelation uh, on orange vinyl. And um, yeah, super good record. This is my favorite Turning Point. I also got the LP this year, which is not as good, but this is great. Uh, next up, Infest. Mankind 7 inch. This is a repress. Just on black with a brown paper cover. The sleeve is massive, like it barely fits in this. But um super good record, love Infest. Not as good as their first record, but um definitely a good seven inch to have. Uh, I'd like to get it on the blue vinyl one day, but it's a bit expensive for me at the moment. Um next up, Rukizan Headache Split. I grabbed this for cheap off the Skogs, maybe $12. Super good. I love the art on the side, but I think I like the music on the side better. So I don't know which one to display it in. Normally this way out though, it does look better. Next up is uh, Boom and the Legion of Doom. Hate, uh, love to hate, hate to love. I think this is their best record too. Um, there's a ton of different sleeves. This is not my favourite one, but this one I got. Very cool. Has all the inserts. Not super expensive to grab either. Not all their records are super great, but this one's really good. Check it out. Alright. Charles Bronson. This is the first 7 inch. Uh, this is the second pressing of the first 7 inch on uh, 6 weeks. Super good record. Love Charles Bronson. I like the later stuff, like the Youth Attack LP, way more, but uh, this one's great. I'd love to get a first pressing as well. As well, on six weeks, I have the Harsh 7 inch. I grabbed quite a lot of the six weeks sort of stuff to so check it out. This is super like brash, noisy, but um, much along the same sort of line of the power balancey basketball stuff. All right, next up is the uh, Sorry State or the Bunker Punk um, exclusive of the Koro reissue. It's on red vinyl, hand stamped cover, limited to 100 copies. So I picked that up, but not only did I pick that up, I picked up every other colorway. They did one's transparent blue, one's clear, one's black. Um, Koro is my favorite hardcore band. I have an original as well, with the photocopy sleeve, not quite the uh, offset printed sleeve. One day I'd love to uh, know, fine tune my original even better and get it a, 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 an offset printed sleeve, but super cool. Can never have too many copies of that record. Oh, next up, Siege Drop Dead. This is a boot on Revoltation. Uh, I got this version because I love the cover. It looks like an 80s hardcore band 
or like a 90s power violence band, like what the cover should be. This was only ever released on tape until much later, but they bootlegged this in maybe 91. And that's definitely the coolest cover. Very cool. Sort of the first to do that uh, power violence sound maybe before even in fears. Another super underrated record, I think. Urukai, Give Up On God. I grabbed this off the Scogs. You can still get it cheap, and I think it's like maybe top 10 of that power violence and grindy sort of stuff from the 90s. Super good record. Super ugly green coloured sleeves. Next up, Crossed Out, Man is the Bastard. Split with the red sleeve. Crossed Out, uh, probably my favourite power violence band. I think they're everyone's favourite power violence band. It's on Slapper Ham. I got this from a guy selling his collection in America. He did me a super solid deal. I think maybe I paid 150 New Zealand dollars, which is pretty good considering how much they've gone for on discounts. Also from the same guy, Pillsbury Hardcore and Straight Edge Limbo. This is the uh, second pressing. I think it's uh, orange colored vinyl. A bit funny, Spares covered Hey Bob What's Up on a, uh, I don't even know if it was a record or just like a comp, but um, cool record. Bit ugly, bit jokey, but still cool. Alright, Raw Sharp, Needle Pack. This is also on War Dance, same as Citizen's Arrest. Um, this is good. Their LPs are better. The first LP is super good. Second LP, sound gets a bit weirder, but it's great. This 7 inch is good too. Got it from that same guy in America, Silent so Collection. As well as this record, Doom Police Bastard. I think this is the first American press, not the first UK press because they're a UK band. Um, I'm not a huge Doom fan, but this is their best record, 100%. So um, check it out if you like sort of crusty, Anaco, UK stuff. Alright, big one. This is probably the most expensive record I've bought all year. This is the Teen Idols, first press on Discord. Um, yeah, I paid like $1,350, I think, for this, which is a great deal if you know how, that's New Zealand dollars, so if you know how much it goes for online, it's in mint condition, all inserts, it's super, super tidy, super stoked to have another Discord release in my collection. Now I've got the two minor threats, a third and a fourth press, uh, a first press of this, and a third press of Zoe, so I just have the hardest two to get, to get, but very cool to have, super stoked. I got this from the guy in Auckland with the crazy, crazy collection. Super lucky to have this. Alright, next up, Cop Out, 7 inch. This was uh, maybe one of my top 5 90s hardcore records too. I was lucky enough to actually get the transparent red version, which I never really see online anymore. Well, this was the first one I'd seen, and I got it for a pretty good deal. So to get this too. Alright, next up, Cancerous Growth, Today's Society. You can still get this quite cheap. But it's a good mid 80s hardcore record. Check it out. Gross, sort of snotty sounding as well. They did uh, maybe Late to the Grave, I think, is the LP that's good. But this one was around the same time. Next up, Corrupt Morals Check. This came out on Lookout, the second Lookout record, after the Lookouts on Lookout records. This is numbered 1803. First press, Lookout records. Um, I've got a few modern bands that I grabbed this year when my friend Dan did an order. Uh, level, Gone West, just a uh, 625 thrash core label, uh, like sort of power violence and cool stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, Unix, I haven't actually listened to this 7 yet. Uh, I listened to their album quite a bit, I like that. This was just at the distro, I grabbed it because it was cheap and I'm sure it was great. Very unique sounding band. Leisure World, I got their demo tape when they put their demo out, so I picked this up to check it out. They'd kind of fallen off my radar, but I love the art, I love the like typeface, so the tape is really good, so I'm sure this will be great. Alright, and Cold War, Bloody Nights, I got that in the same lot. This is from Deep Six. This is just super fast, super ugly sounding stuff, and it was super cheap, so it's great to get. I have Next up, the ill repute uh, Oxnard Land of No Toilets, 7 inch. This is a second press. Uh, the seller ordered was the first press. It isn't because it's just a paper fold over, not a pocket sleeve. 
but super good, super fast. Their LP is also very good, but this one beats it just by a bit. Ooh, next up, a couple of Japanese hardcore flexies, as you can see there. Flexi. Um, I grabbed them relatively cheap. Some uh, a bit gothy, uh, but still quite fast music. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names, but um, yeah, little flexi discs from I think 85 and 86, 84 and 85. Very cool though, great, great records. Next up, the PGO Punk 7 inch, La Cita e Quieta. I probably butchered that, but um, this came out in the early 80s, but then I think they made modern covers, like reprinted the covers in 2012 or something, and sold original pressing records with modern covers. I think that's what I've got here. The t cover's just too tidy and it doesn't look as old, um, which is still sick. Glad to get it. The percussion, I think it's on uh, the last track on one of the sides. Super crazy. Very cool band. But this is my favourite record of the list, too. Alright. Evo. I think this is Jokohomo Mongoloid 7 inch split. Or the 7 inch single. I got this at a record fair in Christchurch. Uh, run by Mains, the music school or music technology school. Um, Super good, love those two songs. I love the album they come from, so uh, good to pick this one up cheap at a record fair. But uh, also, pick this up at a record fair. This is Features Perfect 7 inch. This is crazy expensive if you don't live in New Zealand, and even in New Zealand, it's pretty expensive. I paid $80 New Zealand for this, but it would go for a lot more money if you're a flying nun called Aurora, early New Zealand 80s. This is on for color records. Um, it would go for a lot more if you're trying to get it outside. I was lucky to pick that up at the same. Uh, Ripple Fit. Very cool, I was stoked. One of the only uh, early New Zealand punk records I own. Next up we have the Absurd record. This is a bootleg. Um, the original is too expensive for me to get yet, but I love the cover. I kind of ripped it off for my band's Radium's EP cover. But I mixed it with a couple other band's covers as well and made my own. But this is a super cool record. Obviously this is a bootleg. Still expensive, but... um. Much easier than getting an original. It has all the barcode, uh, the matrix is scrubbed out with like a soldering iron or something. It has all the inserts, it's numbered as well. Cool record, check it out. Next up is Crap Scrapers from Germany. The sleeve is just a big old piece of paper, but this is from 85, just good, good hardcore music. Pretty ugly, lo fi sounding, but um, yes, Crap Scrapers don't waste money, EP. Next up. RAS or Rion A Signaler. Uh, it's like French skinhead hardcore. A couple of the songs are a bit slow and shitty, but a couple of them have like a minor threat sort of feel, a bit of that more bouncy sort of feel. Very good um, from the 80s. Another Grail record I picked up. There's a few of these coming up. Why Die, Place in the Sun, Original Press. Super, super sick. Um, I was stoked to be able to pick this up. Has all the inserts, including the sticker. Uh, lurk insert has a little bit of text on the inside. It says they did the mash, they did the monster mash. Every copy had uh, writing on the inside of the sleeve. This is all still with glues, glues all holding up. It's a beautiful copy. Also, another great record of mine Nogwap Fear. It's an original press on Revenge Records. My partner got this for me for my birthday this year. Um, one of my favorite hardcore records, 85 from uh, Amsterdam. All female band, they absolutely tear it up. It's a big warning, big mistake. Wish that you could feel all the songs on this are so good, front to back. Bam. Check that record out. There was a modern reissue of this, so get that as well. If it's it's considerably cheaper than getting an original. Ah, next up, Electric Dead to Mind Bomb. It's an original from 83. Doesn't have the insert, or does it? No. Oh, yes, it does have the insert, which is sick. Uh, these guys are from Denmark, super cool band, this is my favourite 7 inch of theirs, they have two other 7 inches, but this one's the best one. Next up, Personal Affair by Brain Death, uh, super noisy hardcore band from Japan, uh, I think this is from 87, but it's one of, the, one of the best hardcore records from Japan, 
don't get talked about in art enough, I don't think. But very cool, super cool art. But yeah, very fast, very noisy, like very kind of blasty almost. Very cool. A bit of self promotion. My band Hog, we put out the second pressing of our, our lathe cut. We're ready for the end. This is on blue, cut by Johnny Electric and a ride on Super Sound. Yeah, we have a few of these left, but not many. This was limited to 30 copies. The first pressing was 40 copies. Super sick artwork by Capilli as well, a tattoo artist up in Auckland. Check it out, we're on Bandcamp. Next up, first press of Crippled Youth, Join the Flight. It's a very cool record from 86. This is just the black vinyl, it's got the first press. Uh, I got this off eBay, probably paid about 80 New Zealand dollars for it, but has the inserts pretty tidy. Great to pick it up. <coughs> Another grail record for me. The plugs, Aiken La Bamba. La Bamba is a bit of a, a, a no issue, that song's not great. But Aiken is their best song. It's a different version on the album than the single. The single version is the best version, but the album, uh, Better Luck, super great as well. The song Blue Sofa is great. The plugs, super underrated, like Power Poppy, no, very good, very good band, but this 7-inch uh, Real Grail got it for maybe 120 U US dollars on eBay, but still a steal, it's great. Next up, all rock stars should be drafted by the Bollocks, this is from like the early 80s, this is like a 82 maybe, uh, you can still get it very cheap, it's more punk than hardcore, but it's a great record as well. Pick it up. Uh, they also have a one called Mediterranean or something, something like that. That was their second one, but this one is uh, this one's great. This one's the best. You can get it with the yellow cover as well, but the white cover. When they get old, they look so good. You know, eighties, eighties records or with the the plain white cover. The way they uh, kind of yellow out, I love the way they look. All right, next up, Heresy. Who's generation? I'm not a huge Heresy fan. I just got it for 15 New Zealand dollars from Ride on Super Sound. Couldn't really turn it down. This is from 89. Has the gatefold cover as well. Alright. Alright, next up. Lost Kids and Cola Freaks. 7 inch. Um, this is such a good uh, such a good record. Took the biggest L on it. I was super stoned when I opened the package and um, was trying to cut the tape and cut straight through the sleeve, like a slip straight through the front and the back. Which I put a bit of tape on. I'm never gonna sell it, so it's really just something I gotta live with. Um, you can't even notice. You hardly even see it, even if you look. But it still bums me out. I was just yeah, stoned on my birthday. First thing in the morning was not a smart idea to be using a craft knife to open a package. It's a very rare record, but um, all banging tracks, banging like power pop tracks as well. You should check this out. It's very cool. I have firing. My last bomb, band from Japan, very good. Uh, still has the uh, all the like inner sleeves from Japan, or, like blue or green. These are uh, it's the original inner sleeve for it as well, which is very cool. Uh, it's just still quite a cheap record, but it's a uh, very cool hardcore record. I have the Stalinism Human Guest reissue. The original of this is insanely rare. You would probably be paying like the multiple thousands of dollars, but um. Great uh, Japanese punky hardcore bands. Um, I love the typeface on this too. Such a good um, record cover. Such a good split. Stalinism side is my favorite. Speaking of Brick typeface, uh, the Vile Tones. This is a killer record. This is a great record for me too. Vile Tones from Canada. Big influence on Bare Brains. I think they like stole a copy of this from the record store because they love the, the music. It was a big influence. It's an original press, I think it's from 1977. Um, so yeah, uh, that original Wave of Punk, but from Canada. Very good, I love that. I sold the typeface for a zine me and my partner did, a music zine. Oh, very sick, such a good record. Screaming Fist is a banging song. I got an uh, original press from 85, Minor Threat Salad Days. I got sold a 2009 press by a guy on Discogs saying it was original, and when I took a photo of it, he was like, no, I swapped them out, even though I had the, the website on the back, he didn't believe me, so I had to pick up another copy, but um, my friend Dane 
picked up my 2009 copy, so glad I went to a good home. But yeah, the original press, minor threat, can't go wrong. Amazing band. Next up, VIP is the Quarter Moon. This is a super cheap record. Hard to find with a tidy sleeve. This is a pretty tidy sleeve. Um, but it's cheap. I don't think I paid more than like five dollars for it. Shipping would have been more. Um, but the song, The Quarter Moon, such a banging song. It's like a mod power pop sort of song. Um, and I, it gets stuck in here. It's crazy good. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. Saxophone solo at the end. Whoa, blows your mind. Great record. Another great record for me, uh, Agent Orange, VD, Hello Boyfriend Coming My Way. This is their second record. This is Agent Orange, the hardcore band, not the American, like, surf punk band. Um, this, yeah, this, this is their second record. First one goes for, like, $2,000, easy. This one I paid maybe six, just under 600 New Zealand dollars. But uh, it's my favorite record of theirs. Super cool cover. Super crazy music, but this one I think they sound a bit more cohesive than the first one, but the first one is much more interesting, like, uh, visually, I think. Next up, Horror Planet. This is a totally unique sleeve, made out of fabric, and like hand-painted, so all of them were different. It's on clear vinyl. It's some weird sort of outside hardcore, um, not talked about too much either. It's not great, it's not top-tier stuff, but... Interesting. It's a very interesting release. I've never, I don't have any other fabric sleeves. It's uh, pretty cool. So all of them look different. Another Grail I picked up on eBay. What the hell is Roach Roy Tower? This is their second record. Uh, the first one's called Roach and Roll. I think this is the best one. I love the art for this. Super stark, black and white. Um, I picked it up on eBay. I think I paid 115 US dollars, which I think is a good deal. But I've had it on my want list for like 10 years. It never popped up, or someone would always get it before me. But I finally got it this year. Super stoked to get that original press. Another modern record I picked up, Haunted Mansion. I grabbed this when as soon as I heard it. It's just kind of spooky, like hardcore influenced egg sort of punk. Very cool. Nice cover. But yeah, super cheap because I got it at the time it came out. Very nice. Another grail for me, Gorilla Biscuits, first 7 inch. This is the repressing on yellow vinyl. Like, this has been my favorite version of this. I don't care if it's not a first, but look at that vinyl, man. The banana yellow. I know that there's a creamsicle, like the super rare $5,000 plus version um, floating around that is like 10 copies of or something. But this has been one I've been after for a super long time. I got it on eBay for a pretty decent deal. Just something about the, the purple with the bright yellow record. Super sick. So I stopped to get this. Another good one. Uh, this is the CMI Cold Steel No New Friends 7 inch. I think it actually came earlier in the year than where I put it on the list, but I must have added it to Discogs late. Um, another super crazy release. If you know these guys, you know that these releases are insanely hard to get. So I was super stoked to get this one. Got number 30. CMI are putting out crazy good releases. I just got their Oliver Kahn 7 inch pre ordered. I was lucky enough to grow that one too. So that should be here soon. Alright, what do we got left here? Brain Tonic This is the repress of their first 7 inch. Uh, I got that at the same time as the Heavy Discipline LP. They came out at the same time. This is on Red Vinyl. Um, LP is their best. This may be their second best, and then the second EP is maybe. Third best, but seven inches are great. All right, we have the minor threat out of step outtakes. This was super sick. It was super sick to find out that there's still stuff in the archives we haven't heard. Um, the versions are not better than the definitive versions at all, but it is cool to hear these songs with another guitar player. I can see why they weren't put on an album, but yeah, super sick. Arrived just just at the end of the year for me. I was super stoked. As soon as I heard about it, I grabbed it. Obviously, I have a out of step bass tattoo on one of these sides. Sorry, it's not flipped. But yeah, minor threat. I fucking love minor threat. Um, and it was super cool to be able to hear these. Next up, we have Urban Sprawl, 
Just some sort of power violence hardcore from Convulse. This is on the orange transparent vinyl. Picked it up cheap right on Super Sound. Great record. Also, right on Super Sound, I picked up the uh, Violent Films Ugly Give Me the Car 7 inch. I didn't know that these were like kind of B sides of their first album. I left it there, I went home, checked the songs out, and I was like, holy shit, these are, these are from like the first album. Some of them, are, these might have been odd bonus tracks on some versions of the LP, but not on my version. But I grabbed this, like $15 New Zealand, right on Super Sound, super great to get. Alright, and the last two, I got the Charles Bronson Ice Nine split. This is the bovine version, um, not the cool version where the Charles Bronson side just has the black art, which um, was, they were pretty mad about that not happening, so they made their own. But yeah, my partner got me this for Christmas, so I'm just very stoked. Thank you very much. Love Charles Bronson. And finally, Charles Bronson. Uh, this is the Quill Charles Bronson split. I got it from the Charles Bronson side, but the Quill side, also a very sick band from Japan. My partner also got me this for Christmas, so I was very lucky. But um, yeah, Charles Bronson, amazing. This record's quite expensive now, but uh, definitely worth checking them out if you haven't heard them. Super crazy, hectic, frantic, fast, ugly music, but it's great. Oh, and also, two days after I made my video, the Chain Whip uh, record from this year, all the knife that um, arrived at my house. This is the Magenta White Ladder from Neon Taste. Um, so yeah, that should have been in the last video, but it arrived slightly too late. Right? So thanks uh, for checking that out. Maybe I'll make some more videos. I've got records on the way, so there's always more records. But thanks for listening. I wasn't too boring. <laughs>